Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. It's been a beautiful day out there across the Susquehanna Valley, but it has been a hot one. Let's take a live look right now over Lancaster where we have just blue skies. Gorgeous start to our evening, but be prepared to sweat as soon as you step outdoors. Temperatures still right around that 90 degree mark. We're at 89 in the Red Rose City, but here's the kicker. Relative humidity just 23% as dew points are hanging in the 40s, so it doesn't feel like intense summer like heat out there, but certainly we're talking record heat across the valley as we go through this evening. Since we have clear skies, it's a clear scan on live local weight radar. Very little of any cloud covers we head through this evening. It stays warm. Temperatures only start slipping into the 70s after sunset for tonight. Look for a mild night, mostly clear skies. Lows will be in the mid to upper 50s. And then tomorrow's the transitional day. We'll start the day off with sunshine, but the clouds will thicken up as we head through the day and eventually give way to some passing showers late tomorrow evening after sunset. Not going to be nearly as warm as today. Highs will be close to 80 degrees. Pollen count is elevated along with the mold count. UV index will be at a moderate level, but because the wind's starting to turn out of the south and southeast, we'll start to see the air quality improve when compared to today. But we made it to 90 out at the airport. The the old record was 88 set back in 1913, so that's a pretty old record for us. Started the day off at 58, so usually we see our average first 90 degree day on June 1st, but it has happened as early as April 17th. That happened in 2002 and back in 1896. The latest first 90 degree day was back in 1917. So 92 right now in Carlisle, 91 for you folks in Gettysburg, 89 Elizabethtown also in Lancaster. You can see that heat extending back over the Ohio River Valley, but there's the seasonal air moving in the upper Mississippi and Missouri River Valleys. That's what's going to start to push in with the storm that's going to bring the rain for us just in time for the weekend. But it is a very slow moving storm right now. It's centered over Minnesota and Wisconsin. It's going to work its way across the Ohio River Valley through the day tomorrow and our rain chances don't go up until closer to midnight for it's into Saturday. So watch what happens here. Here come the clouds for Friday morning. We're still dry through the day, but there could be some isolated showers and thunder showers for areas west of I-99 will most likely stay dry until roughly about midnight. But that warm front is going to struggle with winds coming from in the east coming on shore. So we're going to be socked in with thick clouds for your Saturday. Also for your Sunday with rounds of showers, periods of rain that will continue through both days and temperatures are going to be about 30 degrees cooler than today only topping off in the lower 60s. We should start to see the stretch of rainy weather taper off as we get into Sunday evening as the storm system finally starts to pull away. So isolated chances for some showers late tomorrow night. Be prepared for a wet Saturday and wet Sunday. Could see some isolated showers also for your Monday. It's a good soaking rain. We actually do need the rain. It's been dry the past couple of weeks. Much of the valley should anticipate somewhere between half an inch to an inch of rain, but some embedded heavier downpours possible for areas may exceed that one inch mark. So unfortunately, dreary, cool weekend ahead with the rounds of showers highs only in the 60s for Saturday and Sunday, but we rebound to the 70s and into the 80s again as we head through much of next week. But next week's weather looks unsettled with daily chances for passing showers and thunder showers. Sports